Jonathan Craig. Um, this is it here. Oh, this came in the mail today. Ziyun Smooth 4. Pretty lit. Let's see, uh, let's see how this opens up. Pretty stoked that it has a styrofoam case. All right, so this is the case. Download the app. Put your phone in. Turn on, turn off. Pan follow mode. Locking mode. Phone go mode. Phone fun or full follow mode. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty simple. And this is what the unit looks like when you open it. Boom! Full out gimblage. So obviously you have power cord up here, tripod, which is pretty dope. It comes with a tripod stand at the bottom. Uh, tripod feet, that is. Uh, and this is the gimbal here itself. It has this uh, follow. Oops. It has this follow focus here. Let's uh, let's put this together and see what it's like. Is what it's looking like fully developed um, it is really light out of the box and um, seems to be made out of a uh, plastic opposed to the Ziyun Crane um, V2 which is like a full metal so it makes it really light um, I don't know if it's charged but I do have a phone here that's pretty busted up. Let's see if we can put this in the gimbal and how that works. Best thing to kind of do here is balance this. Uh, I don't really know how to balance this yet. No noise. Now I know that there is an app. There is an app that I have to download, but um, this is right out of the box, uh, and you can see that it, you know it, it does work here. So um, off first glance here, there's a trigger on the back here. Um, this is what you have to use to do the up and down tilt. So if I hold it down and I tilt it up, it looks up. If I hold it down, I hold it down, and then it returns back while I'm holding it. I'm continually holding this button down here. Uh, and next, if I, if I do the same thing, button down and go up and release the button, the gimbal stays in that position. Double tap it and it returns the position. Um, top button up, I go up and let go. It also holds position, double tap and it goes down in position. Um, pans are left and right. 
um, pan follow. This is pan lock right here, which doesn't allow you to, t it just keeps a straight position as I turn my finger. So I turn the gimbal and then pan follow allows you to move the gimbal back and forth like that. with my microphone in here now I'm gonna do a quick vlog here with the crane on my dogs and so far I've been having a couple issues with the recording it seems to stop after like 30 seconds automatically hopefully that's not something that's persistent but um, yeah right out the box maybe half an hour you'll figure out the controls a bit easier and um, I haven't figured out the vertigo yet but this little doohickey here does zoom in and out pretty cool There's, there is actually a front oh shit there's actually a front uh, button where you can turn the camera around so it actually works pretty good doing it this way back lighting can't see me front lighting yeah can see me but yeah there is a 30 second limit on these videos all in all I feel like this crane is pretty cool uh, right out the box is not as user friendly as I would like it to be but you know I've been on here maybe 20 minutes now and I'm kind of getting it a little bit better and um, it's very light I'm not sure about the plastic design um, you definitely get what you pay for uh, the Ziyun Crane V2 obviously made out of aluminum alloy and you see again right there it cut out I don't know why it cut out after 30 seconds but it's doing it but anyways um, yeah you got to get the Zyun app and uh, and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace out one love thanks for watching adios